There's a clear difference between makeup for dark skin tones and makeup for blackface. And it doesn't seem like the company Euphoria knows the difference. This is blackface paint. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria foundation. Hmm, tar in a bottle. So according to Euphoria, this is the perfect shade for black women that they took so long to develop. If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm back with another brand controversy video. This one is fairly new. To make a long story short, this is about the makeup brand Euphoria. Founded by Fiona Chan. She founded the brand, but she got help on the show Shark Tank, where they pitched their idea to millionaires. You know, a lot of people come, they pitch their ideas or their brands or companies to millionaires. And then if they think that the idea is worth it, they might invest. Mark Cuban invested over $400,000 into her company, Euphoria. This is a few years ago. The brand became more popular and more popular to where people were doing reviews and it was becoming a staple in the makeup community. I, for one, don't wear makeup, but I know a lot of people that watch me do. And this video could be for anybody that wears makeup or anybody that's just interested in these kind of crazy stories from these brands, especially an up and coming brand and companies that just make stupid, ignorant decisions. Popular TikToker a few months ago did a review on their foundation shades and she was basically saying, oh, you know, this is too light. Y'all need darker shades. Y'all need shades to be more inclusive. You know, lighter skin, mid-tone people are not the only people that exist, not the only people that want to buy your makeup. Now, Euphoria promoted themselves to be so inclusive, but the darker skin shades for foundations were missing. And Rihanna with Fenty Beauty, she set a standard for having like over 60 shades, I believe. Rihanna coming out with her shades and a lot of different shades and darker skin tones that made other companies step it up like, oh, okay, now it's possible. Rihanna showed that it was possible to have all of these shades, a variation of shades and dark skin tones, not just brown, dark brown, like there's a color wheel. The TikToker made that video saying how Euphoria needed to make more shades for the darker skin tones that actually matched. Now, remember I said it went viral, right? After that popular review, some time went by, Euphoria announces they have a new line of shades, right? So a lot of people check it out. They want to check it out. The same TikToker that told them in the first place, you need to make more variations for darker shades. She reviews it. But looking at it, you could tell it looked like black nail polish. Okay, that just may be how it looks from inside the bottle. She tried it out. And look at this. Which side of my face is the black face paint or the Euphoria foundation? T, you can't tell. You know why? Tar in a bottle. This is jet black face paint and this is the darkest shade of the Euphoria date night foundation. Hmm. This is black face paint. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria foundation. Hmm. A few months ago, I tried the darkest shade of the Euphoria foundation. This is what it looked like on me. I'm gonna apply some of the foundation on this side of my face so you guys can see. Let's just go ahead and try to blend this out, you guys. Enough. Who is that color? I'm going to wipe this off. Let me put the paint all over my face. I'm literally just going in with the face paint. We're going to do some painting. And let me just go ahead and blend it out with the brush. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation. This is black face paint. Hmm. Sometimes it's okay to say, hey, maybe my brand is not made for complexion. I'm going to squeeze a pump of this on my forehead just right out the bottle so you guys can see that I'm literally not joking. We're going to do a big blend of this, you guys. When we say that we want you guys to make shades for us, we don't mean to go to the lab and ask for a menstrual show black. What we mean is to take the browns that you have made, create undertones, and do what you need to do in the lab so it's a darker shade of brown. 
This is the darkest shade, shade 600. And as you guys can see in the bottle, literally jet black. The shade right next to it is shade 590. This is what it looks like in the bottle. Here is shade 600. You guys, there could be like 10 more shades in between these two shades. In addition to that, when we go to the actual website and we look at the swatch, not only is the swatch online literally jet black, there's literally only four or five shades for people that actually have dark complexions. Not really for black people, for being honest. Not only in 2024 is this so disgusting and disrespectful, but this needs to be pulled off the shelves. Wait a minute, hold on. And to add on to that, people, makeup artists, reviewers that were of darker skin tones tried the shade just to see like, okay, are we going crazy or is this just pitch black? This is black face paint. This is basically the color of like shoe polish. Went to go look for someone darker who has tried this foundation. As you can see, this influencer is very dark. I will tag her. I don't want to butcher her name. This is her wearing the foundation. That's black face paint. That's the contrast on her skin. I need to see Gloria try this foundation. They should have just called us monkeys. If the actual shade wasn't bad enough, let me show you the shade right before it. This is the shade right before that black face paint shade. Why would the next shade after that be that? Like, this is more insulting than not carrying our shade in the first place. For you to put literal black face paint on the market and give that to black women, like, here, damn, take you monkey. Original excuse they gave for not being shade inclusive and having a shade dark enough for black women was that they were taking so long to develop them because they wanted them to be perfect. So according to Euphoria, this is the perfect shade for black women that they took so long to develop. Monkey. Call me a monkey and go. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. They asked for darker shades. It's supposed to be a variation of brown. You know, black people are not technically black skin. There's shades of brown. It could be light. It could be dark. I have yet to see a black person that was like pitch black. You know, like the color of my hair pick, the color of my remote. The color of this cup. The color of my phone. The lowest is what? Zero. So after that review, that went mega viral. And I think it got like over 40 million views right now. And a lot of other darker skin TikTokers and makeup reviewers, makeup artists, were reviewing it like, I'm dark skin and look at this. You can see the black pigment. Let's try it and see what it looks like. This is now their darkest shade. 600. One right before this is 570. That jump is kind of crazy. But let's swatch it and see. Oh, it's literally black. And then we're going to test the shade right below it. 600 and 570. I guess she said, here y'all go. Oh my God. And to me, the whole action of them of the founder releasing that shade had the attitude of, oh, y'all wanna make a video go viral? Complaining about how I don't have enough dark shades? All right, hmm, this is dark enough. Here you go, blackies, you complaining blackies. So additional shades are coming. There's something that I've been actively working on before we launched our foundation. Shade development does take time. Sometimes there's some nuances with time of the year that we are developing shades. So for example, summer shades look different than winter shades, especially if you're someone who changes undertones as you get a little bit more tan. These are all kind of things that we're working through. There's no way she thought a foundation shade this color was acceptable. Could somebody please make it make sense? And just to show how crazy it was, with a contrast, a lot of white makeup artists showed how it would look if they just put like white paint on their face. You see how crazy that looks? So to have a darker skinned person and just give them a pitch black shade, something that you would find for black paint, black nail polish, black shoe polish, it's crazy. You're a dummy bitch. With your research and development, where's the proof to show that this actually matches somebody's skin? She could have went to any city or town in Africa or India, tried to find the darkest person to her eye, to swatch that on them and be like, look, look, see, it, it matches. I guarantee you it wouldn't have. Because when you rub that in, 
it looks like blackface. And like I said, I'm someone that I don't even wear makeup. But just seeing that and seeing the reactions and just seeing like how bold she was to just put it out like, oh, y'all want black? Huh, that's black enough. Now, you done pissed me off. A lot of people tried to justify it. Oh, she didn't know they was trying. It's people that actually matched that and they were pulling up these images of like dark skinned models. But when you really look into those pictures, it was confirmed and revealed that those pictures were highly photoshopped, highly edited to make them look darker than they actually were. If you were to see them in real life, just for the shock value of, oh wow, she's so dark skinned, she's so beautiful, when that's all edit. So I wanted to know y'all thoughts about this. What did you think about that scandal when you heard about it? If this is your first time hearing about it, seeing those clips, seeing those TikToks, what is your reaction that in 2024, a popular up and coming makeup brand had the audacity to release a dark foundation, which was essentially blackface. And this is just another lesson in whether it's makeup or not, specifically in this case makeup, be careful of what brands you buy from, be careful what brands you support, because you never know what the underlying intentions all the lady asked for was for more variations in darker shades and you gave her blackface then to make matters worse not only did the founder nor the company ever apologize they waited a month to come out with this statement and then they came out with job listings basically another passive aggressive way of saying well, y'all think y'all know so much why don't y'all come work for me so y'all can see how hard it is wow Please let me know your thoughts down below because although this could be an obvious, wow, that's wrong, that was ignorant, a lot of people are trying to justify it. There's no way to justify this or this or this as an acceptable foundation for makeup. Um, that doesn't make no sense. Luckily for those of y'all that wear makeup, y'all got Fenty Beauty and other makeup brands that really cater to all shades. Leave some other brands down below that really cater to other skin tones, all skin tones, darker skin tones. You might help somebody out. With that, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video. Tar in a bottle.